Glasses are going to be the next major computing platform. Is we're gonna to get to this point, probably sometime in the 2030s, where you have your phone with you, but it's gonna stay in your pocket more because you're just gonna be doing more and more things on your glasses that maybe today you would do on your phone. Mark, I wanna go back a bit, actually a long ways, to mm -hmm. when you first built Facebook. Mm -hmm. I believe you initially built Facebook in PHP. If you were to build it today, what programming language would you choose? I think if I'd built it even like a year or two later, it would've been Python. The first version of Facebook was something I threw together in like a couple of weeks based on like a bunch of other stuff that I was working on for fun. Looking ahead 100 years from now, what do you want to be remembered for and what do you want Meta to be remembered for? Oh. Hi Mark, how are you today? Hey, good to see you. Thanks for coming to Connect. Thanks for having me. Today has been so exciting. So many amazing announcements. I'm curious to hear. Now I know this is like picking a favorite child, uh -huh. impossible, uh -huh. but what are some of your favorite announcements from today? Oh man, I mean, there's a lot. So I mean, Quest 3S at 299, that's awesome. I mean, Quest 2, when we got to $300, that was like a killer price point for that. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I, I, I'm super proud of what we did with Quest 3 and the high quality mixed reality. But getting it to $300 now, I think is gonna be a really big deal for a lot of people. All the AI stuff, I think is a, is a really big deal. Um, the voice is, nice. is, I think, you know, it's just so much more natural. Right now with Meta AI, texted a few questions uh, every day, but when I was playing around with it with my daughters last night and we just had like a 15 minute conversation about like what our family should be for Halloween. And, and it's just like a completely different vibe when you're using it with voice. So I think that's gonna be a big deal. All the AI stuff that we're bringing, the Ray-Bans, yes. I think is gonna be neat. Yeah. And making it so your glasses can help you remember things. Uh, making it so that now the glasses can give you suggestions and yeah. help while you're doing things, whether it's cooking or like picking out an outfit or whatever you're doing. And obviously Orion, right? I mean, the, yes, yeah. I mean, the, I mean they're just crazy glasses, right? It's like the first full wide field of view holographic AR glasses. It's, um, you know, not ready to ship them yet as a consumer product, but mm -hmm. you know, we've been working on that thing for like 10 years. So it's, um, so I'm, I mean, I'm really excited to just get to show it to people. I know, yeah. I, so I got to try Orion yesterday. Mm -hmm. I was think? blown away, speechless. I, I wish I could put it into words, but first of all, they're so lightweight. I, I could picture myself wearing it the entire day and how it would be useful from waking up to going to bed. The gestures as well, it just came so naturally. It was, yeah, the neural interface is pretty yeah, sweet. Yeah, it really yeah. is. So I'm, I'm very excited about that and uh, everything else you listed, of course, too. Yeah. Mark, I want to go back a bit, actually a long ways, to mm -hmm. when you first built Facebook. Mm -hmm. I believe you initially built Facebook in PHP. Correct yes. me if I'm wrong. Okay. No, that's correct. If you were to build it today, what programming language would you choose? Oh, I think if I'd built it even like a year or two later, it would have been Python. Nice, but, yeah. Um, but, but you're just talking about the website. I mean, now if you're starting something, it would probably be mobile first today. Yes, yeah. And because I mean, obviously that paradigm changed right over 100%. the, you know, by yeah. you know 2010 or something, most mm -hmm. development was mobile. Yeah. And I don't know, I mean, the answer will change in the future. It'll be whatever um, programming language is the most important for the glasses. Exactly, right? in, in the yes. future. I mean, it's, that was another thing. And we launched the mixed reality version of Instagram and, and Facebook today, mm -hmm. which I think is gonna be awesome. It's mm -hmm. like, you just get this big screen experience of feed and reels. But yeah, um, I don't know, PHP, it's, 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 it was easy to hack around it. Yeah. And yeah. it was just sort of like the development environment that I had the most set up back then. I did yeah. like all these fun projects and, you know, the first version of Facebook mm -hmm. was something I threw together in like a couple of weeks based on like a bunch of other stuff that I was working on for fun when I was yeah. when I was in school class um, stuff around I mean I did a bunch of pranks a bunch of um, you know, a bunch of study tools a bunch of um, different stuff for the for my for my school around um, helping people figure out what classes they should take all that nice. but I was just constantly building stuff yeah. it was fun. That's really yeah. cool. That sounds, I'm, I'm in that stage right now, constantly yeah. building stuff. It's yeah. fun. It is fun. Yeah, and it's and it's clearly never changed for you. You're always iterating building. Like building stuff. Yeah, exactly. And it's good to not get, you know, especially the, the phase like you're talking about. It's like yeah. trying, like experimenting with a lot of stuff lets you figure out what resonates. Yes. Right, rather than just, yeah, just going kind of committing too early to something. I like that. Yeah. Speaking of coding and technology, I know you're you're very uh, passionate about open uh, source AI. <laughs> totally. I'm curious to hear, why was it so important to you to ensure Llama was open source? Yeah, well, we've done a lot of open source work mm -hmm. uh, at Meta over the years. And I mean, honestly, I'd, I'd like to say that it's because like we had some amazing vision on this, but a lot of it was just because, you know, we got started after a lot of the other big tech companies. Mm -hmm. And 
they had this great infrastructure and by the time that we built it um it wasn't you know a proprietary advantage for us so yeah. our view is and this goes back to like our server designs everything early on so it's just like okay we might as well open source this yeah. so that way we can get the benefit of the whole community using this um and the improvements that everyone brings mm -hmm. but you know if you go back to the beginning of of Facebook and a lot of the infrastructure that we built. Like Google already had kind of proprietary closed versions of all the infrastructure that we needed to build. It just kind of made sense. So we had a lot of experience with that and how it was really useful for us. And by the time we got to AI models, we're just like, okay, well, yeah. making all of our other infrastructure has generally, making it all open source has generally been good for us. So let's try that with Llama. And it's been good. I, it's been very good. I know yeah. myself and millions of other developers are very happy that it's mm -hmm. open source. What are some of the coolest projects you've seen developers build on Llama? Well, I mean, people fine tune it to do a lot of crazy things, right? So a lot of the stuff um, I don't even necessarily realize is Llama until a developer or an entrepreneur comes up to me later and is like, oh, this like is this foundational part of how like recommendations or um, or how we solve this problem in our app. And it's mm -hmm. like in, in all different domains, commerce, I mean, music. Everything. I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, just, it's, it's like, uh, but that's, that's the thing that's so neat about AI is it is like the ultimate general technology, right? It, um, it's the difference between kind of traditional machine learning applications and general intelligence is that it can be used for all these different uh you know, just basically every domain. 100%, and it enables so many people in different domains to, you know, build mm -hmm. different things, help with different tasks, it's, it's really incredible. Yeah. Mark, I'm curious to hear, so going back to Orion for a sec, uh, I know I mentioned earlier it kind of blew my mind, so I'd love to hear more uh, about your thoughts around it. You mentioned, I think it was, how long mm -hmm. it was in the works for quite a few years, is that right? Oh yeah, I think we got started working on this around 2014. Wow. Now, I mean, that was when the Oculus team first joined us. Yeah. And they obviously weren't working on AR, right? Yes. I mean, they had, the Oculus team was working on PC VR. So yeah. it's been quite a few leaps from, you know, what we were, what, the, that team, what we were originally doing to this. But the vision has been pretty consistent. We knew we needed standalone headsets um, for, for mixed reality. Um, and we knew that glasses were the ultimate form factor that we were going for. So within maybe a year or two of, of um, really spinning up that effort, started working on the glasses version of it. And then obviously, you know, you start off with a small team and they're exploring mm -hmm. and then you kind of figure out what will be possible. And um, in, the, in the early days of working on something, you're more just figuring out what are all the challenges that we need to solve. And then it's like, okay, we're gonna need a new display stack with waveguides and projectors. It's like, okay, so now we need to go build a team around who are the best people who are doing waveguides and who are the best people who are doing projectors. And we're gonna need to design our own custom silicon. So, okay, who are the best people who could do custom silicon and all these different things. So it was an effort that just kind of built over time. But it's something that we've been thinking about and working towards for 10 years. Wow. That's incredible. Yeah. When I was when I had them on and I was going through different demos with it, one of my immediate thoughts was I wonder if this could potentially replace my phone. I'm curious mm -hmm. to hear your thoughts on that. Well, I think glasses are going to be the next major computing platform, mm -hmm. but each new platform doesn't tend to just replace the old one, right? So yeah. I guess the, the version of this that I think about is like, you probably have this experience often where you're sitting at your desk mm -hmm. and you have your computer there yet you still pull out your phone to do things. That's true, right? yes. Okay, so at some point in the last 10 years, mobile really became the primary computing platform. Mm -hmm. We didn't get rid of our computers. No. It's just that even when you have it, you still do more things on your phone. So what I think is gonna happen with glasses is we're gonna get to this point, probably sometime in the 2030s, mm -hmm. where you have your phone with you, It's but it's gonna stay in your pocket more because you're just gonna be doing more and more things on your glasses that maybe today you would do on your phone. You'll reach a point where, you know, just like with your computer, there are probably some things that could be done in a richer way or, mm -hmm. or better in some way on your phone, but you're just gonna, the glasses will be your main computing platform and that will be kind of your default go-to thing. I and, then, and then maybe over time you get to this point where people just don't bring their phone with them everywhere. But, but yeah. I think that's really far down the line. Super I think we're far. gonna have our phone for a while. Yeah. It just, it'll stay in the pocket more. I like that, I like that. And maybe that was just me yeah. being, uh, you know, I always lose my phone or forget it. So I was like, okay, yeah. this could be good for me. No, but I think a lot of people, 
have this perception that in order for glasses to win, phones must lose. Ah. And I don't think that that's true. Yeah. Right? It's just like yeah. like computers didn't have to lose for oh. phones to win. 100%. Um, so I, I think that the glasses will become the next main computing platform because of their ubiquity and integration into our lives, um, not because we somehow are going to decide consciously that we don't want to use phones as much. Yes, I love that perspective. Yeah. Mark, last question I have for mm -hmm. you. Looking ahead 100 years from now, what do you want to be remembered for and what do you want Meta to be remembered for? Oh, I don't know. I mean, what our company is, I mean, we're a technology company mm -hmm. that you know, builds different things to help people connect, right? Yes. So. And that takes the form of different things over time. So it started with websites, then it was various mobile apps, the apps focused on feeds and messaging, and profiles and like all these things. And that functionality evolved over time. And now we're focused on building more of the fundamental platforms around how people will connect. I imagine that whole thing will just continue evolving. Yes. I would guess that if you look back, you know, 20, 30 years from now, yeah. we're still going to be a technology company, mm -hmm. right? We're not like, we're not an app company, right? It's, you know, we're not just like focused on only content, right? So we're focused on primarily building the underlying technology platform. And I, I think that that's gonna be true for for probably as, you know, I mean, yeah. and like certainly as long as I'm doing this, I mean, yeah. it's tough to foresee how things look after that. But yeah. I also just want us to be a company that builds awesome things. And I would like people to look back on us and say, oh, yeah. they took a bunch of really big swings and, Maybe not everything that they did worked, but a bunch of the stuff that they did really kind of pushed the industry and pushed the world in different directions, and that was cool. I like that. Mark, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you.